How's it going everybody? Um, for this video we are going to be using Serenade. Um, this is going to be against Count Waltz and Legato. Um, being at level 75, pretty easy. Um, you want to attack Waltz first because Waltz is going to be a bigger threat than Legato. Uh, Legato is pretty much like the Annihilator, um, with just a weaker version of the Annihilator. And Count Waltz is just Count Waltz. Um, so compared to the first time you fought him, he has more HP and he's pretty much the same thing. Um, uh, you're going to want to block uh, his attacks as best as you can. You know, he's still fast. Um, so pretty much same moves. Um, you want to take advantage of counter. Um, but like I said, take him out first and then uh, focus on Legato uh, second. And then you're going to want to use uh, your light skills. No need for healing or Verabum Expella. You want to use uh, Thorn of Thrones and Verabum Celebris. And the match should end pretty quickly. No need for Lion's Mane, Dragon Scale. No need for all that because we're not uh, we're not underleveled. We're, we're pretty strong here, so no need for that stuff. And no need of decreasing the uh, enemy's attack and defense by 10%. No need for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, to uh, before the match starts, uh, when the match starts, the uh, your characters have full HP. So even if you your characters come with one HP, uh, they'll have full HP. So we're just gonna have to wait here. I only use Clavius and Crescendo because they're the weakest characters in my roster so far. So that's why I put them in the roster. Okay, so here we go. Serenade. Two on one. Uh, like I said, you're going to want to take out Waltz first. And then minimal pausing. You should, shouldn't should die at level 75. You should be fine. 16 echoes. And then, of course, you want to build up 24, 32 echoes. Messed up here. Yeah, I actually got attacked in the back. That was my fault. I should have known better, but that's okay. It's not like I died. And Walt's getting behind me. That's not nothing too serious. Just a quick heal. 24 echoes. Throne of thorns. You want to use that first because that is stronger than uh, Celebris. And then you want to use Celebris uh, second anyways because of the uh, echo buildup. But luckily I got a uh, Expello, which is uh, two more hits than Celebris. Celebris is only six and Expello is only eight, so that helped out a little bit. So same thing here, Thorn of Thrones into uh, Celebris. Tons and tons of damage. Nice counter attack there. Build up some echoes before it's my turn. Attacking them from the side. Got 32 echoes, nice. Throwing up thorns into uh, Celebris. Count Waltz is almost dead. Blocked his uh, Ore Dominium. Got attacked from the side. That's okay though. I was able to turn my character around to block his other two attacks. And Waltz should be dead after this uh, after this turn. Yes, Waltz is dead. So now we just have to put our focus on uh, Legato. And that's it. And you know, should should be it real quick. This match will end real quick after this. So just the same thing as the Annihilator. You wanna um, you just wanna attack it from the side, counter. Um, but the only difference is you're able to use your light skills in this part of the uh, stage versus in the Mysterious Unity when you fight the Annihilator. There's not really a lot of light spots that they're pretty much at the end of like the sides of the level. But in this level there's tons of light so you shouldn't have a problem finding any light. I actually was in the dark but that's okay because um, 
I just used Expello. I didn't need to heal or anything like that, so that was fine. So, uh, as long as you block his attacks, you should be fine. Even if you don't block his attacks, you, if you're high enough level, you shouldn't die. You should be fine. But you still want to block, uh, you know, their attacks as much as you can. So, Thorn of Thrones, Celbris, the usual. And then he'll fall pretty soon, as long as you keep this up. Almost dead here. Probably the next turn he'll die. Using regenerate, but just ignore that. It's it's nothing to be afraid of. Only gets it for a couple turns. It's not really serious. And he died. So there you guys have it. That was the Serenade solo against Waltz and Legato. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.